We're here with Dana Pitaresi ahead of the 2017 Ottawa Marathon going off on Sunday. We're here at City Hall on Friday. Uh, right off the bat, World Champs uh, this summer, May 31st is the cutoff date. This is really the last opportunity to qualify in the marathon. Is that uh, really what you're gunning for? Uh, yeah. The standard plus, I guess, yeah. low 230s? Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, this race is really just about having a calculated effort, it's not taking any chances. It's not really about trying to run as fast as I possibly get, can. It's more about trying to get that standard, which I know exactly what I have to do. It looks like probably under 235 should get me a spot um, on the team. And that's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully I feel good. And I run you know, 232 around there. That would be great. Um, but yeah, definitely under 235. So you've got a busy racing season racing. 5K all the way up to the 30K at, around the bay. Obviously, I'm sure that performance uh, is a good indicator of where you're at. Is that something you really take confidence in going into uh, the 42K? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That race was tough this year, um, conditions-wise. It was very windy, and I didn't really know how I was running, um, but when I saw my time at the end and what pace that would be, I think it was like 239 marathon pace. Um, off of my short block of training before, that was, I knew, you know, we were right where I needed to be going into this, and even if I didn't gain fitness from then until now, um, I feel like I was still in a good spot, which obviously it's impossible to not gain fitness over that course yeah. of time. So, yeah, yeah, I feel like that was a good indicator, and it's really gotten better since then. So in the fall, you did a uh, Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon. Yeah. Uh, 240, I think that's your, that's your personal best. Mm -hmm. um, coming off an injury this winter, what, I guess, are you kind of taking from that race through the winter? And then uh, you said you're tr gonna try to have a calculated race. What's, I guess, uh, the race plan on, on Sunday? Yeah, Toronto was tough because during the race I got a stress fracture in my sacrum. So from that, I, I mean, I know I was fitter than 240, and I think that shows in the times that I run this spring. Um, that being said, like, it was still a good experience. I learned to run through pain, probably more than I ever have in my life. Um, but I also learned the value of patience. I think for that race, I was a little bit aggressive in the beginning. Um, so from that, I think this race will be a good time to practice that patience. Um, and the goal is to run, sort of go through half in 115, 116, hopefully if I feel good. And then I really hope I can finish strong um, the last 7K. I would like to progress instead of fade. <laughs> so going back to the 30K, that's really, I guess, uh, the longest distance you've raced this year. Was there any, I guess, particular way that you ran the race that you kind of want to uh, replicate on Sunday? weird because that race I think I went through 10k much slower than I have ever in the past but that might have been to my benefit in the end um, it was just so windy um, times were probably about two minutes slower than normal through that 10k but um, I think it helped me progress through the rollers which hopefully I can take for this race I know there's some hills, I know there's a portion that is described as rolling, so I'm hoping that I can feel as strong and fluid through those sections. That's the plan. And I guess finally, this has been like a really busy month all around. A lot of marathons around the world, a lot of Canadians yeah. uh, racing, uh, Krista in London. Uh, how did you kind of decide on Ottawa specifically versus uh, another big city marathon? Yeah, Ottawa was actually an easy pick because I thought I would need a lot more time to get fit after being off for so long in the winter. So we thought, yeah, Ottawa, I can, I, I mean, I can sort of, I know I'll get travel, um, hopefully, and like be able to get here and not have to pay too much and also not have to worry about um, multiple time changes by racing in Europe, even though the courses are a little bit faster there. And it was, yeah, the last possible, basically, qualification date on a certified course. <laughs> so this is really an all-in effort on on the marathon, like you said, at the very end of the, the qualifying period. Yeah. How long yeah. has, I guess, London 2017 kind of been uh, something that you look towards? Um, I feel like just in the past year, uh, I, 
I definitely wanted to get a decent mark in before the Olympics, and that never happened. I just never got healthy enough. And um, I wanted to do world half, but again, I just ran out of time to like get a good mark in. So it's sort of like finally I feel like I'm in a good spot to make a world team. And that'd be a great experience. Awesome. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you so much.